2023 was the hottest year ever recorded on the planet. It also set a record for the highest number of heat-related deaths in the United States. And while we're finally catching some relief from the season's first heat wave, experts worry this year will be even hotter. Elizabeth Cook has more in tonight's Project Earth report. The heat from the heart of Redwood City to downtown Livermore, an expanding heat dome brought the season's first heat wave into our backyard. It's really hot. Something about it just feels way more heat intensive. Like it feels like we're uh, not at the beginning of June, but somewhere in the middle of July. The rising temperatures are not just a figment of your imagination. Uh, we are seeing rising temperatures earlier and earlier. Dr. Peter Glick is founder of the Bay Area's Pacific Institute and an internationally recognized scientist. As to what's behind the rising temperatures? We know that humans are changing the climate. That's no longer an issue for debate. The science is very clear about that. Dr. Glick showed us the data gathered by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is this is a graph of California's average temperature every year from 1895 up until 2023, last year. The trend over time has been a very significant increase in the average temperature in California. So the average temperature is two degrees hotter this year now than it was a century ago. The rising temperatures are leading to earlier springs and hotter summers, as well as an increased risk of extreme weather and fire danger. We're, we're losing our house insurance because of increased wildfire risk. It's also a problem, especially for agriculture, birds, and pollinators. The plant and animal life around us are adapted to yesterday's climate, not the climate of today, much less the climate of tomorrow. So we're seeing species that are threatened by the changing weather patterns that we're seeing. We're going to see more extinctions, uh, and we're going to see more and more pressure on our already stressed ecosystems. As to what we can do? Drink a lot of water. My curtains are drawn right now. Boy, you being out in the sun at the high point of the day. Really crank up the AC and garden in the evening and run in the evening. While all those are good ideas, Glick says we still need to deal with climate change, and that means producing energy without burning fossil fuels. He says the Bay Area will see cooler years and warmer years, but overall, the data shows it's slowly and steadily getting hotter and hotter, and we may not be aware of the danger. If you put a frog in a pot of boiling water and the frog's going to jump right out. But if you put a frog in cold water and slowly heat up the water, the frog doesn't see what's going on until the frog is, is cooked. It's, it's not as hot as it'll probably get, but it definitely is the hottest it's been so far. So not to wait to jump out before it's too late.